I think this is a quick world, real world scenario where I had to do 10 new computers, uh, actually upgrade new computers because there's a reason, I'm not going to go into that detail, but I had to do 10 computers uh, for uh, employees um, and um, I need to create an image first, so that's what I'm doing right now. Remember I did a Crucible WDS, now I think it's uh, deploy WDS something like that I have to find the full name for it now but uh, we set this up so I came back and I was like oh let me use an imaging server so I created a new image and I named it this 1920 standard and I named the date so this is a computer that I did a lot of work on it and uh, did like software installation and some setup for user that is very customized so now I'm gonna deploy that to other users like 10, 10 users so we uploaded this image to the server so this is the image that um, right here like if I go to the server and click on images it should be here this right here so as you guys can see it's getting updated right now um, standard 322.16 and 66 6 GB is going to be basically um, uploaded to this server and then what I'm going to do is to deploy this to other machines I need to plug them in so that I can do this on the network now if you want to learn all of this make sure you go to the course I'm going to show you right now when you go to jobskillshare.org um, then you go to help desk support entry now make sure you register first if you're new uh, if you already know this then you just need to scroll down and then desktop imaging right here so this is like where you learn the stuff and where I'm using um, Windows 7 and Windows 8 imaging server right here this one uh, I'm not sure if it's this one also but try to see these two I'm sure there's one one of it this crucible WDS is the name and they changed the name now but if if you want to learn all of this what I'm talking about real world scenario when I do I show users quickly that that's my work and this is what I'm doing at work so while my computer is getting the image uploaded to the server the best thing is if you have a lab like this you just grab the computers plug it in right here because it's easy you don't have to bend down and all that and all the wires are plugged in in front of monitors if you don't have all of this lab like this then you just get, grab one monitor plug in your machine and connect it to the server unplug the other things like you know the monitor stuff not the network ethernet card and then the rest you just do this and then leave it once it's done but if you're in this situation where you have a lot of computers like this just quickly grab all the new computers and unplug this like this one see that I just unplugged it from here this is the lab computer so I'll leave that alone I plug everything here and then I'm gonna go to the network and get the image and BAM I got 10 computers in few probably an hour or two uh, if you're already prepared I wasn't prepared if you have done the other part which is the imaging part you could have just grabbed these computers quickly get it done and you're done with this stuff but again I mean it's not gonna be that one or two hours it's gonna be just that imaging one or two hours but the rest is gonna be you getting to the computers getting their data out and then making sure you don't leave anything and then you putting everything on the new computer yes it's a lot of work so that's uh, well it it's it's not it doesn't happen every day you know it's like something that you you get a call if somebody's out you're you have a few team members maybe you're alone one IT person um, yeah, so yeah you have to just kind of like see where you are is that you are alone my friends you can sing songs whatever you want to do the Madison Battis is back again with the wild rapper drive you insane remember the dude who married nah I can't rap I mean this is, this is not my thing where I'm from it's not gonna work the upload to the server is almost done but I'm gonna show you another thing you always want to use another backup also as you can see we have um, Isis which is a free and I got this uh, software when it was actually free for business I'm not sure if it's still free so I use that uh, with a USB so there's a USB right here this is my second backup so if my server you know all those 10 computers fail to upload get the image from the server then I'm gonna go back to my old ways uh, use like three four five USBs and then do it that way Person done what's gonna happen this is going to basically disconnect itself so we have this computer fully 
upload it on the server. Now let's go back to our 10 computers and tell those computers to go get this image on those computers. Remember, they're identical computers, hardware is the same. I just wanted to, when I spend that few hours updating this machine, putting every single thing on this machine, and then leaving some settings that can be like a license or something like that, I left that off. But those few hours are going to be saved. I'll show you how now. So you see, this machine that I just set up, it started, everything is done, our server got the image, let's go to the 10 computers. Yeah, this is a reality guys, that sometimes you have to work at night and this is how it looks. At night, when you sing a song and nobody is listening to you. So here we are now, this process that I'm doing right now could have been much easier so i turn this on and i'm gonna go ahead and tell to see this server i'm gonna do f12 because i'm gonna find that server through our network uh it's gonna basically reach out to our server that hey are you there i'm gonna so basically nick card right there so i'm gonna click enter and then it, through the dhcp is saying it's looking for my server right now and then i say okay you know what i do i got a server bam and then look for the server there you go you find the server you got to do this quick because you got a few seconds um now i could have done this part from the server but i'm going to do manually i mean this is little manual that's fine because uh, in the next videos, when I do another real world scenario, I'm going to show you how to do it from the server. When you start this machine, it will automatically get the image. So then it saves you this time. But to do it from here, you just need to go to on demand. And once you go to on demand, it's going to go ahead and uh, look for the server. It will upload the image from the server. Basically, that's like a little operating system. Um, so right now it's looking for that, loading images. Complete, and now it's asking for a username and password. That's the the server username and password that we set up. Uh, this is how we like in the help desk. We're gonna say um, 10, uh, blah, blah, blah. I gave you my password, guys. Well, yes, login successful. What do you wanna do? So for that, other image that I was doing, I deployed it to the server. Okay? No, actually, sorry. I uploaded it to the server. So I uploaded that image to the server. Now I'm going to deploy that image to this computer. How? You just click one because it says one is the deploy option. Okay, then it looks for images right there. Okay, we got a lot of images right there. Which one? Now, it's by numbers, right? So I did mine, which was this one right here because i know 32216 yes i named it 32216 so i'm going to say 21 and enter okay this computer was not found in a database enter a name for it now leave blank to skip auto host renaming now i can add a name to this um uh, basically computer um or i can just basically say skip you can just enter and then it will auto name it. So I can just say, you know what, 90, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a name, 9020, A, B, C. Because then I'm gonna add another one, like D, E, or whatever. A, B, C, one. I'm gonna enter. So it's naming this computer. It's going to successfully, uh, basically go in and to that server. It's going to add through SMB and then it's grabbing all the images. So whatever you have on this computer is gonna get formatted and that image will be uploaded on this one. As you can see, things are happening right now. So I'm gonna do this to all these 10 computers right now. I know it's a little manual work, but at least it's not that bad, you know, because it depends on what situation you are in. Like right now, I had to do something and this, this just came like that to me and I had to do it. Now, always start this stuff, like if you have less amount of time, then do it on Saturday, so then you have another day you can, you know, play around and fix things. Um, now, of course, if you plan this stuff ahead of the time, um, if you're not in my situation where you just came across something, um, you know, in our company, we had to do these upgrades very quickly, 
Um, and the reason I don't want to go into that, but we had to do it. So this is what I'm doing right now. And that's how, if you know, if you are, if you're still thinking, how is he doing this stuff? Why is he not showing how to install this stuff? Take the course. Everything is in there. It's a free course. I have done this step by step. So take that, please. This is a real world scenario where our learners get to see me doing things in reality. So then they have this feeling that they worked. They're already working with me right now. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on all the machines and do the same process. And I'll say good night for today. And I'm going to tell you guys the results in the vlog tomorrow. All right, see you guys. Image is done and I basically logged in and everything is good. Now, these two and the rest of the computers out there, they took a lot of time to get to this point. Now, to fix that issue, I mean, I haven't done it. I mean, I haven't fixed it actually. It just took that time, or like 30, 40 minutes to get to the, the username and password thing. There's a way you can also f make this process faster by making your USB uh, and putting an ISO. So that I'm going to test it in the next video. But you guys can clearly see that it's working. This one made the image, everything is good. No problems at all. And I will leave, usually what I do is on Saturday, if I work, I'll leave this on whole night because if there's an issue with the image it probably will blue screen and you this will be the last thing you want is to put a lot of um, computers out there do all that effort and the morning you come in and the user say oh it just did a blue screen on me so the best way is to leave the computer on leave it for the night for like few hours make sure it doesn't go to sleep mode and when you come back in the morning if you see that this was restarted Maybe it went to blue screen and then it came back up and it's in the login page. Then you got to log into your images. If it's in the same, uh, you know, username, like you, you, you just leave some stuff in there, put like open like a notepad or something like that and go to the power settings, make sure that it doesn't go to sleep, come back tomorrow. And if it's still there, then that's kind of good, good test out there. I mean, still things can go wrong, but you can't really do much. I mean, you really can't spend too much time on this stuff. Like you, you, you're thinking, oh my God, it's gonna go down and stuff like that. You probably will f you figure out if it's not going down uh, to blue screen or something like that. That image is really good, and then you can just deploy it. So uh, tomorrow, actually, I, I said that, but I was leaving. I was like, let me just show you guys before I finish this vlog. And tomorrow vlog, uh, when I come back, I am going to. Um, go over all the computers make sure they're working uh, just to quickly show you guys that if this was not working let's say for example this is not working for me you see I have another backup going on and I think I showed you guys about the USB too so at least when I come back in the morning I'll have this and that machine I'll have two three machines or four um, uh, you know I know that that will work because it's coming from USB so it won't be a full disaster okay this is how I do things um, maybe people are doing it much better than me, uh, but you know when you have to do when you get when you come across something that you have to do it uh, because it's a situation like that, then you gotta need these tools, or else you can sit there, spend one or two hours updating the whole Windows and doing all that stuff, multiply that by however many computers you're doing. It could be ten, it could be two hundred, it could be three hundred. So, um, yeah, save yourself from stress and see you guys tomorrow.